I really love this as a good reminder for all of us. Uh, anger and hatred have inflicted more damage on any given relationship. Anyway, in the context of the family, in the context of whatever kind of relationship, even in corporate world. So if you don't know how to manage our, or modulate our negative emotion, then you will realize at the end of the day that you are going to be managed by your negative emotion. If you could not control your anger, if we could not control our anger, we will eventually realize that we are being controlled by our anger. So if you, you don't allow the Lord Jesus Christ to control it, it will control you. Quarreling more often just started with simple, uncontrolled temper that is not tampered. The church job or the people of the Lord has the ministry of preaching the gospel of grace. I mean the grace of forgiveness and the grace of love. Let us be very careful. The Bible is saying, be angry but sin not. If we walk, and so I say, and so I say, Galatians 5.16, and so I say, Walk by the Spirit so that you will not be able to walk in the desires of the flesh. That includes the feeling, negative feeling of anger. Verses 3 to 9. Anger can turn to love and ministry if we give that to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ. But Saul began to destroy the church, I mean the members of the church, the Christians. Going from house to house, he dragged off both men and women and put them in prison. Well, how are you down to he treated the women like men, strong men. And then those who had been scattered preached the word wherever they went. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah. Verse 6. When the crowd said Philip and saw the signs, he performed the old paid close attention to what he said. For with tricks in pure spirit came out of many, and many who were paralyzed or lame were heal for that matter. And then verse 8 and verse 9, so there was a great joy in the city. Now for some time, a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great. Look at this one. How the Lord creates something to turn anger, to turn something negative into something beautiful that is called love. It's really wonderful to be in love, right, Mark? Yeah. Like Al? Like Father Bong? Can we see him into that? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. lang. Baka ako lang. Baka kami lang ni Chacha. Di ba, Dante? It's really wonderful to be in love. Amen. beautiful wives. Yeah. Praise God for that. So, anger or any negative emotions can turn to become something that is beautiful. If this is your family that is full of hatred, and this is my family that is full of love. Which one do you want to choose to, to join? It will be something that should be beautiful. 